Hello everybody, Max with Avon Website Pro here. And a while ago I did a, a tutorial on Summernote and how you can upload your images to your directory and not use Base64 because Base64 puts a lot of extra code in the database and makes it bloated. And so Jasper sent me a message. He says, how can I insert an image into the database? He says, another question. Well, uh, what if there's a text sentence inside the summer note? How would I insert those together? Okay, so uh, let me show you what I did here. Here you can upload images with summer note and just say, you know, maybe this is some text like so. And uh, let me go ahead and bring over some images of my puppy. This is Flash. So we'll go ahead and drop that in there. We'll scale that to 25%. And we'll go ahead and do one more. Throw that in there and we'll scale that to 25%. And then we'll hit the submit button. Okay, and it says new record created successfully. If we go to the database, you can see here under uploads, here are the file names to those two images we just uploaded. And if we go to entry, and we'll go... Uh, We'll click on edit here. You can see this is some text and it has some HTML uh, characters. But here's the image, the image source, blah, blah, blah. All right, see, of the two images that we put in there. Well, how is this being done? Let me go ahead and bring over the Notepad++ editor. Uh, whenever, I'm going to give you guys all these codes for free, okay? So all you have to do is go to the website, download it. But here's the explanation. Here you're bringing in all, all your CSS scripts and all your JavaScript text, okay? And we start out with the body classic container for the bootstrap. And uh, I have a little heading here. But this was where the form is. The form, the method is post, action is add entry. Now here's the text area. The ID is summer note and the name is entry. And that's what gives us this right here let me go click back that's what gives us this box with this editor in there that we have all those things okay because that's uh, the summer note editor now this is just a button that I put so that whenever it's hit it's going to go to this add entry PHP and add everything in this text area into the database okay now these scripts down here uh, this is uh, what this does is it will put uh, this targets the summer note ID up here at the text area and you can have some text here instead of enter directions we'll say uh, enter um, information like that and we set that at a height of 300 and then we have a callback and on image upload we're gonna grab whatever file is dragged into there Okay, and we're going to send that file. So whenever we were dragging Flash's picture into here, it was automatically going to an upload script. Okay, now let me scroll down and show you. This function, send file, that you're seeing right here in the for each loop in the script, what it's doing is it's posting the data to editor upload.php. Okay. Let me go ahead and save that. We'll bring up the editor upload, and this is a pretty simple file. Basically, we have our config file, which is the key to our database. It's all you know, it's included in there. And if the if it's empty, it's just gonna exit. You know, if there's if there's no post variables with file being brought over, it's just gonna exit the script. And here we have a default uh, image upload error file. And let me just show you where that is. And if you look at this right here, this is, you know, image upload error. Check your, let me just bring, make it bigger. Check your code, okay? So if there's, a, if there's something going on, then that'll bring it in. Now, what we'll do is we start, we set a variable of temp and we explode the file and we give it a new file name. We round it up to the micro time. Uh, we set the destination path to image uploads. So you have to have an image uploads. And if you download the zip file from the website, you will already have this image uploads. 
And then here we will move the file to its destination path. And then else, uh, I mean, if it's not moved to, uh, if there's an error, we're going to display that image, okay? Else, if there's not an error, it's going to go ahead and move the file to the path. But here's the other little tidbit here. We're going to make an insertion into the database. So we have our connection. We're going to insert into uploads the file and then the values in this destination file path. Okay? So every time you take a picture over here and drop it in there, it's already going to upload via uh, Ajax. Okay? Now the form doesn't get submitted until you hit submit. So let's go ahead and do that one more time so you can see how it works. We'll grab maybe uh, this picture of Flash and we'll shrink it down to 25%. And let's go ahead and grab uh, this picture of Flash and we'll shrink that down to 25%. Okay, maybe uh, let's go ahead and uh, put some text in there. This is some more text. And we, we could actually format that if we want to. Uh, you could put tables in there. Whatever, whatever you have up here, you can put in there. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to hit submit. New record added successfully. And let's go see if we can see that stuff in the database. So let's click on entry. And yes, there's the next entry. And if you click edit, you can see all this text is in there. Okay. And here if we go to the uploads, we have the uploads directory. Now you might ask yourself, well, why did you create one for the uploads and one for the entry? Well, let's say that you're getting ready to delete these images. And I have not made this in this tutorial. Maybe it will be time, uh, be something in a future tutorial that I make. But you want to uh, unset these images, which is remove them from your server. Well, it's a lot easier to do it this way because if you delete an entry, you can uh, parse through this and find the, the image uploads, and you can delete them that way as well. So, but if you just want to look at all the pictures, maybe you want to create a script where you have all the pictures you want to look at, you can do that, that as well. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, let me know. Uh, this add entry script, uh, you know, this is just entering whatever text and images, they all go together. Let's go ahead and go over the, uh, the structure of the database for the entry, because that's an important thing to go over as well. So if you go over the structure, this, uh, the first one is the, your ID, and it just auto increments, which means it'll go one, two, three, four, you know, so on and so forth. The entries are in text, all right? And I use UTF-8 encoding, which is universal. And then finally, I have the date timestamp. So in the future, if you ever wanted to arrange anything according to the date and time, you could do it, all right? So, but that text is, is pretty important. Now, when we go to the uploads, if we check out the structure here, you see I'm using an ID with an auto increment. And the next one is just the file name. And I'm using varchar 255, 255 characters long. And that's what stores the file name. And then once again, I just have the timestamp. Okay? So that should get you guys started on whenever you, you put uh, something in summer note, uh, whether it be images, whatnot, uh, text and so you could see how it it works with uh, storing it on a database all right well i'll talk to you see you guys in the next tutorial this is max with a1 website pro over and out